This is the 21st video in Chapter 4 of Google SketchUp for Dummies, and it deals with using the line tool to create uh, roof objects that you're not going to be able to do by uh, using other methods that are in this chapter. So the thing to remember about SketchUp is when it all comes down to it, it's really all just about using to use, learning to use this line tool uh, that looks like a pencil to do anything you want. And in this case, what I'd like to do is put some dormers. Those are those little mini house looking things that poke up above a roof to give you some more space in the attic. Um, and what I want to do is I just want to model them, model one right here on the roof surface. And to, to kind of use push-pull and intersect with model and a whole bunch of other tools to do that would kind of be more trouble than it's worth here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of, uh, I'm going to eyeball it for the most part. But I'm going to eyeball it with a little bit of measurement. So let's just use this um, tape measure to draw me a guide. Let's say I want it to be 12 feet over this way. And I don't know, the dormer is going to be maybe 4 feet wide. So we'll go 4 feet over that way. That's pretty simple. And I want the dormer to be up... Mm, three feet from here and I don't know let's not worry about this part okay so I want the dormer the face of my dormer to start right there where my guides tell me they are I'm just gonna use the line tool to do this I'm gonna use the line tool and SketchUp's relatively powerful inference engine that's uh, using the shift key and watching all the little colors and things to draw this dormer without having to use any special tricks or anything like that and this is really this is the kind of the, the thing that you're striving for as a SketchUp user, as a modeler. You want to be able to just use this pencil tool um, to build anything you want if everything else fails. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use the line tool. I'm going to draw an edge that connects there. Now watch. I'm going to come up in the blue direction. So not on the face of the model over here. I want to come up in the blue direction. And it says I'm on the blue axis right there. I'm going to come up in the blue direction, and I'm going to say, you know what, I want to come up mm, three feet. So I'm going to type in three feet. There we go. Let's come back over in the red. That's parallel to the red axis over here. And it's going to tell me when I'm above the point that I drew before. Let's click there and click down. Okay. So what I have now is a face that's kind of poking up uh, right out of the roof surface right there. Now, this isn't very realistic because the face of my building's right here, and the face of my dormer is right there. So... That's not so good, but let's just ignore that for the time being. We can always move the dormer around if we want to afterwards. Okay. From here, let's put a little peaked, um, a peaked gable on top of this rectangle. So I'm just going to start from the midpoint and come up a ways, and then draw down to there, and draw down from there to there. Let's use the eraser tool. I'm going to hit E to get my eraser, and just erase away these edges I don't want. And then I'm going to hit L to go back to my line tool. Now, here's where it gets interesting. I'm going to click to start drawing a line here. And then I want to come back and what direction do I want to come in? This is the green direction because there's the green axis. So I want to go back in the green direction. And when I'm going in the green direction, I want to draw all the way to the surface of the roof. The trouble is, it's kind of hard to do if you're not really experienced with SketchUp because I'm able to sort of do it because I've been using this a long time and I kind of know what I'm doing. What you want to do is get going in the direction that you want to be in, and then hold down the shift key. And as soon as you hold that shift key and then hover over the roof that you want to be touching, it's automatically going to go exactly that long. So let's just let's do that again. Get going in the green direction, or whatever direction you want to be in, hold down shift, and then hover over the surface you want to meet. And there we have a line. I hit uh, escape to clip that line. Okay, so there's a line, then it goes all the way from the tip of that dormer all the way back to the surface of the roof. Let's do the same thing with these corners. In the green direction, hit shift, hover over the roof, done. Escape to clip. Let's go around the other direction. The green direction, shift to lock, hover over the roof, click. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, with the line that I still have going here, I'm just going to connect this end to that end. There we go. And that created a face for me. And then I'm going to connect this end to this end, and that created another face. And then what I need to do is go from here to there, and maybe from here to there. And what I've got is, if I get the eraser tool by hitting E, if I erase away these guides, now I've got a dormer, which is sitting perfectly on the roof, a sloped roof, and it looks like it's gone right in, just like that. And what I can do, of course, if I've got a dormer now, is just select that dormer, and even make some copies of it. 
Go back and look at chapter 2 for more instructions on making copies with the Move tool. But that's basically it. I used the Line tool and the Shift key and SketchUp's Inference Engine to draw a dormer on top of a sloped roof without using any tricks, really. I was just kind of uh, drawing in three dimensions the way I would draw in two dimensions with a pencil.